Hello friends, welcome to our channel Knowledge Amplifier and in my this particular video I am going to discuss how you can sharp one image, okay? So basically this simple idea is using high pass filter because high pass filter will pass uh, the high frequency components that is there uh, those portions where there is a huge change in uh, intensity level in the pixels those it will pass and the low contrast re region it will attenuate and in this way you can make your image sharper but the problem in this method is the low frequency components are if attenuated by a very high amount then it will not look good but at the same time we want to sharp our image in that case we can follow this particular technique which is called unsharp masking this is another approach of high pass filtering only the goal here is to enhance the fine detail in an image rather than the eliminating low, low frequency component like we have uh, we know that in case of high pass filter it will eliminate the low frequency component but in this case we will not eliminate that we will keep that low frequency component along with that we will increase or enhance the detail of the high frequency part okay this is called unsharp masking so you may think unsharp means we are decreasing the sharpness no no need to confuse with the name actually what it does in this case we first make the image blurred and then we subtract that blurred version of the image from our original image so blurred version of image means low pass filtered image right because you can make an image blurred using low pass filtering as it is because if you pass your image through low pass filter then high contrast portion there is high frequency region will be eliminated right then if you subtract your low pass filtered output from your original signal that is nothing but your high pass filter right because you know you have studied in signal and system also that if we subtract the uh, low pass filter output from our original signal we will be getting the high pass filter output same concept and then after subtraction whatever we will get that is high frequency component we will add that in our original image so what will happen oh, low frequency components in our original original image will be there as it is along with that the high frequency components will be basically uh, enhanced okay so this is what is called unsharp masking unsharp masking the name comes because we are basically blurring our image and then subtracting from the original one that is basically high frequency component and we are adding that with our original image so this is why the mask which is created using blurring that is using low pass filter so that it is called answer masking and here what we are doing we are not eliminating low frequency component we are boosting up the high frequency component okay so this is also called high boost filter okay so this is the difference in between answer masking technique and the uh, high frequency or high pass filtering technique okay so here is a simple code clc clear all close all x equal to im read papers dot png i am i have taken one image which is present in matlab image database itself no need to import separately then figure i am show let me show you the popularly known paper image as you have seen in mathworks documentation also then i am blurring that image using one low pass moving average filter and then i am filter i am filtering and i am subtract x comma g i am subtracting from my original image and then i am plotting that high frequency content content okay so if i run this particular part i will be getting two output you just closely observe these two output this is our original image and this is high frequency component initially it will look completely dark let me do one thing let me just multiply or amplify this suppose i am amplifying by three all right and then if we run you can clearly see that it is taking only high frequency component now see you can clearly understand where there is high frequency change or high intensity level changes there those portions only it is taking so this is high pass filter output then we will be adding this that is i am add x comma g okay so as a result low frequency component will be there as well as we are boosting up the high frequency part and I am so X title is image after sharpening. Let us check. So if we run this particular part, see you just consider. Let me for the time being minimize this high frequency content. This is our original image, and this is image after sharpening. You can clearly understand. See, let me make it little bit bigger. 
so that you can clearly understand the effect this is our original salt and pa uh, sorry paper image and this is our after image sharpening okay you can clearly understand that this particular image is sharpened okay you can see the particular background also right now this in this way, if you like, want to write the code this is actual algorithm okay but there is inbuilt matlab function also available which you can use and that works very accurately okay and that is nothing but i am sharpen okay so first i am reading the image let me give the title this is original image and then here the second image will be our sharpened image okay so what i am doing i am reading my uh, paper png and then i am filtering using i am sharpen x comma amount 10 okay mostly it is restricted within 0 to 2 more increase in amount means more sharpening will be happen but if you increase it to a very high amount then you will be getting some unexpected result that also i'll be showing and then i am so i am sharpen okay so let me keep for the time being 2 okay and if i run it will take some time see this is our sharpened image and this is our original image let me make to 10 okay so now you can clearly see that how much high amount sharpening is happening but point to be noted here some white spots are appearing why you know because we are uh, adding the unsharped mask with our original image and after addition what may happen due to some intensity level uh, it may go beyond 255 which is maximum value possible right so those particular spots will become white color okay as you can see here now as i have told you if you increase to a very high amount then you will be getting some unexpected result okay so if i run see all the image is quite sharpened you can clearly understand but see this is some kind of unexpected and not the contrast is distorted image is distorted kind of looking like noisy so try to restrict this values within 0 to 2 maximum within 10 okay you can check the matlab documentation the link i'll be posting in the description box okay go through that in detail understand what else you can uh, apply or add in your this particular function implement that in, in your project okay and whatever code i have shown in this particular video all the codes will be posted in the description box if you want you can check there thank you for watching